Meet DeepSeek, the AI startup that flipped the industry on its head with just $5.6 million. No billion dollar funding, no cutting edge supercomputers, no Silicon Valley backing. Yet, it built an AI model that rivals the best in the world. This is the story of how a virtually unknown startup blindsided tech giants like OpenAI, Google, and Meta companies that have dominated AI with unlimited resources and top tier talent. We're going to be taking a perfect look at how DeepSeek pulled off the impossible, who's behind this disruption, and what it means for the future of AI. Because if a small company can shake the foundations of an industry ruled by tech titans, what else is possible? But before we show you how they shocked the world, let's travel down to where the visionary was born. Liang Wenfeng wasn't born into wealth or surrounded by cutting-edge technology. Born in 1985 in Zhenxiang, a coastal city in Guangdong province, he grew up in a modest household. His father was a primary school teacher, and his family lived simply, valuing education above all else. But unlike kids from wealthier backgrounds, Liang didn't grow up with computers or fancy gadgets. In fact, the first time he saw a computer up close, it might as well have been a spaceship. But Liang's mind, it worked differently. While other kids were out playing, he was busy solving math puzzles, like his life depended on it. He didn't just enjoy learning, he was obsessed with it. Numbers, logic, and problem solving were his playground, and his sharp intellect soon earned him a place at Zhejiang University, one of China's most prestigious institutions, where he studied computer science and information engineering. After graduating, he didn't follow the usual path of joining a big Chinese tech giant like Alibaba or Tencent. That would have been too predictable. Instead, he co-founded High Flyer Quant, a hedge fund that used AI to predict financial markets. Now, this was bold trying to get AI to outthink human intuition in an industry built on gut feelings and old-school analysis. That's like walking into a chess tournament and flexing that you've never lost a game of checkers. Many doubted whether AI could truly predict market trends, but Liang didn't just succeed, he straight up ate the competition. Under his leadership, High Flyer Quant became a major player, managing over $8 billion in assets. He'd proven that AI could outsmart the stock market, but in Liang's mind, that was just the warm-up round. Shockingly, at the peak of his success in finance in 2023, he pulled the ultimate plot twist and walked away from it all. Why? Because he had a new vision – to build an AI model that could rival the best in the world, using Chinese talent, Chinese resources, and Chinese innovation. But there was one massive problem. The current AI industry is a high-stakes game where money rules everything. OpenAI had Microsoft casually dropping $13 billion into its pockets, while Google and Meta were out there spending a combined $50 billion a year on AI research. These insane budgets it gave them access to the best researchers, cutting-edge computing power, and NVIDIA H100 GPUs, which are the gold standard for training world-class AI models. DeepSeek, on the other hand, yeah, they had none of that. No Silicon Valley investors, no billion-dollar war chest, and thanks to US sanctions, no access to the latest NVIDIA chips. While the big players were flexing their H100s, DeepSeek was left working with H800 chips that were cheaper, slower, and widely considered second-rate. Most experts thought that trying to build a world-class AI model under these conditions was basically a lost cause. But Liang and his team refused to accept that reality. Instead of relying on brute force computing power, they worked smarter, not harder. They optimized their training process with advanced mathematical techniques, fine-tuned their data efficiency strategies, and designed a streamlined model architecture. The goal wasn't to outspend OpenAI, it was to outthink them. And against all odds, they pulled it off. With just $5.6 million in computing resources, literal pocket change compared to their competitors, DeepSeek successfully trained two powerful AI models, DeepSeek V3 and DeepSeek R1. These weren't just functional models, they ranked among the best in the world. No cutting-edge hardware, no billion-dollar budget, just pure strategy, innovation, and a refusal to accept limits. DeepSeek had done what many thought was impossible. In January 2025, DeepSeek was still a low-key name outside of China. Then, out of nowhere, a research paper dropped in the AI community, claiming that DeepSeek V3 had outperformed some of the most powerful AI models in the world. At first, no one took it seriously. Small AI startups make big claims all the time. Most end up fizzling out faster than a TikTok trend. 
Then, AI researchers, they put it to the test. And what did they find? Absolute chaos. DeepSeek V3 wasn't just good, it was next level good. It outperformed OpenAI's GPT-40, Meta's Llama 3, and Anthropic's Claude 3.5 in key areas like mathematics, logic, and coding. Suddenly, industry analysts were scrambling. How did a relatively unknown startup running on a fraction of the budget and none of the elite hardware build an AI that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with billion-dollar giants? But here's where things got real interesting. The biggest shock wasn't just the AI's performance, it was how DeepSeek trained it. While companies like OpenAI were burning through expensive high-powered GPUs, DeepSeek had optimized its training to run on cheaper NVIDIA H800 chips. It was like showing up to a luxury car race in a beat-up Honda and still smoking the competition. Within a month, their app shot past ChatGPT to become the number one free app on the US iOS App Store. A Chinese AI app topping the charts in America? That wasn't just impressive, it was unheard of. The tech world was shook. This was an AI plot twist no one saw coming. Then the dominoes started falling. Nvidia's stock tanked as investors freaked out over the idea that DeepSea could crack the code for building AI without their premium hardware. Washington hit the panic button, with US officials calling DeepSeek a potential AI espionage tool. Australia, Taiwan, and South Korea followed suit, banning DeepSeek for government use over national security concerns. One thing was clear. DeepSeek had just thrown gasoline on an already raging AI arms race. And now, the real question is what key principle we can learn from DeepSeek and what happens next. So, what is the real takeaway from DeepSeek's rise? It's not just about China catching up in AI, it's about how they did it. DeepSeek didn't rely on brute force computing power like OpenAI. It didn't have bottomless cash reserves like Google or Meta. Instead, it mastered something far more valuable – efficiency and adaptability. First, DeepSeek proved that resourcefulness beats resources. While their competitors flexed their fancy H100 GPUs, DeepSeek made magic happen with lower H800 chips. Instead of complaining about hardware limitations, they adapted. Second, they didn't just play the game, they rewrote the rules. While the AI world was locked into billion-dollar closed-source models, DeepSeek embraced open-source innovation. A small, agile team took on Silicon Valley's biggest names, not by following their blueprint, but by burning it and making their own. And third, speed beats size. Big corporations? Well, they moved like sloths trapped in corporate bureaucracy. DeepSeek? They moved fast, took risks, and disrupted the industry before the competition even knew what was happening. In AI, agility isn't just an advantage, it's survival. But here's the thing. These principles aren't just about AI. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a developer, or just someone with a big idea, DeepSeek's story proves that even when you're the underdog, strategy, speed, and adaptability can take you all the way to the top. Because at the end of the day, it's not about just having the best tools, it's about knowing how to use what you've got to win. DeepSeek didn't just change the game, it rewrote the rules. It showed Silicon Valley something they didn't want to admit. You don't need the deepest pockets to win in AI. You just need to be smarter. Now the world is racing to catch up. China has proven it can stand tall against US tech giants. The US might tighten AI trade bans to keep control. And Silicon Valley, they're left with two choices, adapt or fight back. But here's the twist. DeepSeek's biggest challenge, it's not its rivals, it's staying ahead. Will Liang take DeepSeek Global and challenge OpenAI directly? Will Silicon Valley find a way to beat DeepSeek's low-cost AI model? Or are we seeing the start of a whole new AI era? One thing's for sure, DeepSeek has already made its mark. Whether it soars or stumbles, it's forced the world to rethink how AI is built, funded, and controlled. DeepSeek isn't just a company, it's a wake-up call. It's proof that the underdog can shake up the giants. From tech labs to global markets, DeepSeek's influence is everywhere. It's not just about AI, it's about changing the rules. And while the future is uncertain, one thing's clear, DeepSeek has already changed the game. So, what's next? Will DeepSeek take over the AI world, or will Silicon Valley strike back? Share your thoughts in the comments, we want to hear your predictions. Don't forget to subscribe for more stories about innovators, disruptors, and the future of tech. The AI revolution is just getting started, and you don't want to miss what's coming. So, what's stopping the next big disruptor? What's stopping you? The future of AI isn't just for the big players anymore, it's for anyone brave enough to take a chance. DeepSeek's story it shows that sometimes 
the biggest changes come from the most unexpected places. The game has changed, and this, well, let's just say the AI world will never be the same.